Hey everybody, low jockey here here in Wisconsin. Take a look behind me. What the fuck is that? <laughs> this is how they remove the snow off of the roof, bro. Let me get you in for a closer look. No removal. Look at that. They don't take that stuff off. It ain't coming off the roof, boy. I don't know. That's like several, several feet of snow. Literally. Look at that. <laughs> Crazy. And it's, I mean, it's, it's sunny, bro. It is sunny, 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 sunny. It's beautiful. A little bit nipply, but beautiful. There's my truck. There we go. Whatever. All right, I guess I wasn't prepared to really make a vlog. I didn't have nothing to talk about. But since we since we did that snow thing, which I think is freaking cool, we're still behind me. I guess it's like a child. You can sit there and watch that forever. Talk to a couple more people that were in my class. 901 Trucking. What up, bro? Anyway, we was talking about how we can make the money. So as far as the new guys... I talked to some old heads about how to make the money at Hirschbach. The first couple of months, the first few weeks, you'll probably be going through some growing pains. So, this is what I have found out as of today. I think it's what, 19? February the 19th. I've been here since December 12th. You have to fight for the money, bro. I used to think that my driver manager didn't have any kind of control over what was going on. And I used to wait until they just sent me a sent me a load and I would accept it or deny it or whatever. At first I thought just refusing the load would fix it, but that doesn't do it. Basically, when you're on a load, get with your driver manager and try to say, hey man, I need some I need to, I need some miles or whatever you need to do. Or if you need some short runs, you tell them that. You know, if not, they're going to give you whatever the hell they feel like giving you. And a lot of guys don't know that you have a voice in the, in this whole thing. You have an opinion. So, for instance, I was in Monmouth, Illinois. And I was explaining to the guy what I was trying to do. I was trying to actually, my grand, you know, grandmother passed away. I was trying to get to her funeral. I made that happen. But I got into so many arguments with the driver manager you know what this guy says he said hey man where do you want to go where do you want to go tell me where you want to go he got so pissed off he was like where do you want to go it kind of threw me off because i was like look man i don't care where i need to go i need to make money i don't care where i need to go he's like you going to the bronx uh no <laughs> so i did care to some certain extent but i got a load from Monmouth, illinois to north carolina and I got a load from North Carolina to Wisconsin. And I'm getting a load from Wisconsin to North Carolina. And the place that I'm going to in North Carolina is down the street from a place. <laughs> it's just Smith, Smithfield. So more than likely, I'll probably go back to that same Smithfield in North Carolina. And who knows? Come back to the Midwest. Maybe Wisconsin. Don't know. So. Basically, what I'm trying to say about this whole thing is, if you're a new guy, and I talked to one guy, I'm not going to say his name, but he was saying, hey man, I started around the same time you started, I'm thinking about giving it up. It's because we don't know how they operate. Talk to the old guys, I mean the guys that's been here six years, it's like a senior citizen at this company, you know. Talk to the guy, ask him. And basically what I got from those guys was, they fight for every dime they get. So... If you get to a place and they give you a load and it's like 10 hours from picking it up and you're ready to pick up now, you say, hey, man, I'm not taking that load or how much extra are you going to pay me to take that load for sitting around and waiting all freaking time, okay? When you get detention, fight for it. So, I don't know if I'm having a bit of luck right now and I'm getting these loads or I'm just having arguments. <laughs> I'm just having arguments. It's just business, man. I'm talking about you got to fight. That business is your baby. Are you going to fight for your baby? Or are you going to let your baby die? That is the question. 
So anyway, that's all I had to talk about. An impromptu video. Which I hope some people got some good information out of it. I've been getting some subscribers. I'm assuming that the people that are subscribing are the people that go to orientation on Mondays and Wednesdays. So, hey, don't let nobody scare you. It's just learning curves. Certain people can't take what Hirschbach is dishing out. Certain people can. So, yeah. That's where I am right now. I'm starting to figure it out. And it's been almost, what, three months? No, I'm not really three. I started December, middle of December. So December, middle of January was only one month. So this is the second month. So I've been here over 60 days and it's starting to come together. So to all the people that was in class with me before me <laughs> and you quit, cool, you got out of my way. So I'm learning. But anyway, I'm gonna go over here and look at this snow removal thing. I don't know why I think it's so fascinating and cool, but I'm gonna go in here and look at this and Headed back to North Carolina. See you later, guys. Low jockey out. I'm going to show you some more of the snow removal. <laughs> then I'm out. I don't know. I can watch this all day. Later.